Hi guys, it's Wave McMaster here today. I've got another video for you. Uh, basically, in this video, I'm going to be looking at of uh, on Facebook. We've all know how to add these uh, header images to our pages. Um, if not, I have got a video on that, which I'll link to in the description below. But today, I'm going to be looking at some of the options you have with uh, header images on your Facebook pages. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to add a video and how to actually add a slideshow of images to the top. So uh, just just because it's a little bit different than standard, and, and a few people do it, and it just sometimes it can make a bit of a difference to get you to stand out. So um, basically, I'm on my computer. I've got this dummy Facebook page I've made. It's not public. It's just basically it's nothing. And um, at the moment, I have no cover photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click here, add cover, add a cover, and it comes up with some options. You can choose from your photos, choose from videos, you can upload a photo or video, or create a slideshow. Now, well enough, I want to choose the photo, it's pretty straightforward. I can simply go through, click this, click an image, and I've got a photo there. Very straightforward. Bang, we've got our photo. But if we want to add a video... The video is a little bit bigger, so generally speaking, you want to make sure you get a video. I generally try to make my videos only pretty short, and obviously the smaller the file size, the better. You don't want to be uploading a one gig video. Maybe if you've got a short little 10 or 20 meg video, or even 40 or 50 meg video, I don't know. Uh, you can upload this video quite easily. So I'm going to go click on Upload Photo Slash Video. So I've got this little video I've put together. It's just a drawing that I've did with my tablet, and uh, I've just sped it up, and it goes for a few seconds. So it's about seven or eight minutes. I'm going to click on this video. It's about 850 pixels wide. I haven't made it any particular size, but if you were going to make it a particular size, uh, my best bet would be to make it uh, which 851 by 315 pixels. That's the current size that uh, works best with most Facebook images. Not all of them. Um, but um, yeah, there's also no reason why you couldn't go full HD if the video is not too big. So I've got this video, I'm going to click open. And we're just actually going to give it a minute to upload. So we'll just uh, watch that go through. And now you can see, I can actually drag to reposition the video if I want. Once I'm happy with it, I'll click next. And automatically you replay video on a loop. Yep, publish. Because this is a private page. So now you can see on my Facebook page I have this video looping. So it's a good way to sort of get a little bit of attention and um, you know just stand out, be a little bit different from the crowd, and um, show people the sort of thing you can do. So that's one option. That's uploading a video onto your Facebook page. Now this is just going to keep on looping. Um, Basically, that's because of the setting that I chose to have. So very easy, and uh, the slideshow is not much more difficult. As you can see from before, if I click here to change the cover photo, I can reposition this now that it's up. But I'm going to create a slideshow. So you see here, I choose five images. So maybe I want to choose this one. Maybe I don't want this one again, so I'm going to click the uh, little pencil icon up here, and I'm going to choose from photos. Maybe I'll go into timeline photos and choose. I've got some random stuff in here, which is not really anything. So I've got a few random photos. In this, I actually have the video, which I actually didn't realize until this moment you could actually have a video on a slideshow. But at the moment, we've got five images. So we've got five spots, and we're going to click Save. So now we've got this one, this one, we've got the video which is actually only just freeze framed, so there you go, it explains that. This one, and that one. So, as you can see, we now have our slideshow, and um, that's pretty much it. So that's how you're going to add a slideshow and a video to your Facebook uh, page, cover photo. Uh, not rocket science, just nice, nice easy one for you, and um, I hope you found it useful, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right, see ya.